Hello everyone, this is Manny from Manny's Book Bag. Today in my book bag, I have another Reprice It walkthrough. Today I'm going to show you how to create a template that is going to isolate a specific segment of your inventory. The question comes up all the time. In Reprice It, do I have any way of creating a template that will only target my books or only target my vinyl? And the answer is yes, and it can actually be done utilizing wildcards. Now for those of you that have already seen my video on how to exclude certain SKUs from being repriced at all, you have already seen that we have covered the use of wildcards. If you haven't seen the video, look in the description. I'll post a link to it there. Wildcards are really the only way to create a SKU added template. If you have a third-party listing service such as Acceler List or ScanLister or Inventory Lab or any of the others, then you already know that you're able to create SKU pref prefixes that are going to label your inventory. Now imagine creating one of these templates that's only going to target a specific type of your inventory, but you don't have wildcards. If you don't have wildcards, you would have to go in and one by one you would have to add each SKU individually. As you can imagine, especially if you have quite a few of them, that would get pretty boring and extremely time consuming to set up. So really wildcards are the only easy way that you've got to get this set up. The first thing that you're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to the main page to the bottom and simply click on create a new template. Uh, we're going to pretend that what I'm going to create today is a template for my CDs. So I'm going to give it the name of CD just to easily label it as I create this template. The next selection here is going to be what the template is for. Now this is typically where you would select if you wanted to cover all of your inventory or if you want to break it down from just Merchant Fulfilled or just FBA. In our case we're going to choose this fourth option here because we want to add the SKUs that are going to be repriced by this template ourselves. At the same time we're not going to want any other segment of our inventory to be touched by this template. Now a very quick note and just a tip for you if you are creating a SKU added template you will not be able to add any other template criteria. So let's say for example I want to add a price range to it where I only want this template to add uh, t to affect items from two to ten dollars. You're gonna notice that when you try to add that template it's gonna give you that red warning box at the very top that any template criteria cannot be selected for a SKU assigned template. So once you have selected that you're going to assign the SKUs yourself, you are done on this page. Or are you? The answer is no. Uh, this is where template order is going to come in. Let's make the assumption that template name 10 and 9 are templates that affect aged inventory. And then let's make the assumption that template number 8 affects all items with a 10 to 15 dollar price range. We're gonna want our aged inventory to still be in the number one and the number two spot. But we're not gonna want template number eight that affects a price range to ever see our CDs. We want the CDs repricing to be over and done with already. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we change our template order for CDs so that they are after 10 and 9 but so that they are before 8. So what I need to do is I need to assign this CD template to template order 3. The way that you do that is to go right back in to view slash edit template. What you're going to notice is that we have a new box available. Once the template is created, you will have a second box under the name of the template that allows you to set a specific order. Now, if you remember, we already agreed 
that for this particular case, I'm going to want this CD template to be in the third template order for the stack. You simply assign the correct number and you hit save. Now when you look at your template order, I've got my two aged inventory templates here and the CDs are finally before the price range one. Template order is very important where you want your priority templates to be at the top and your specialized templates maybe not priority on the very bottom. And what this means is that if I have an older CD, an older CD will still be governed by the rules of my old aged inventory templates and then CDs will be repriced within the session before anything else. So by the time I start getting to my price ranges, my CDs have already been repriced and none of these templates are going to see any CDs. It's just how the stack works. You can get very creative this way. But we're not done. We haven't assigned any SKUs. And now that we have an assigned SKU template, if you look all the way to the right, you can add or update SKUs. Now this is unfortunately where if you do not have SKU prefixes set up, you would add each SKU individually here, and then you would hit Add Item. Now in our case, we've established that we do use SKU prefixes. In fact, all of my CDs uh, begin with a SKU prefix of the year and then CD. So let's say I want to add uh, 2017 CD. I'm going to put in my SKU prefix here and it's also very important to see that if you're going to use it as a wildcard add an asterisk on the end. Now you do not have to add the asterisk when you are listing the item. You don't actually have to have asterisks embedded in your SKUs. The asterisk is something that you're adding here just to let Reprice it know that you intend to use it as a wild card. When you have entered your SKU prefix here, you're going to click off Use as Wild Card and add the item. Now, this has saved us a lot of work because since we do not have to put each item in individually, we're actually all done if that's all we wanted to do. When you add the item, you should always see it on this list here by SKU and you should always see that the wild card is checked off as yes this is. Now in our case we are all set to go. Every single CD in our inventory according to the template order that is not aged inventory is going to be repriced by this single template. Of course now when you go back to the main dashboard page this will be when you go into view edit repricing settings and put in all the general rules to your taste depending on how aggressive how conservative uh, or whether you just want to do something very similar as the other template you just want to change uh, how it's repriced if all of your other templates are repriced by uh, chasing the buy box or by using the intelligent repricer but you would like your CD inventory to chase lowest price or even possibly uh, by same condition or better, that would all be a really good reason to give your CDs or any other inventory its own specific template. Folks, I really hope that that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to support the channel, and we'll catch you next time.